Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. You can see all of our arcade games and pinball machines at lionsarcade.com. We are back with a really cool old pinball machine today. And uh, I think this is becoming one of the most video uh, taped pinball machines on Craigslist. A lot of people really think this game's cool, so a lot of people put up videos of it. This is Gottlieb's Genesis. Look at that back glass. Have you ever seen anything quite so beautiful? Gottlieb put this out in 1986 and it's a John Trudeau designed it. He's a really cool pinball designer that makes a lot of uh, really interesting games that are a little different than what you would expect. And this was one of them. But check out this back glass. Look at this guy. The way they did this was they shot a black and white photograph and then they used uh, photographic oils to tint it. So it has a weird look. This is actually a new old stock a Translite. The original one was all faded. They get pretty faded, but it's just such a... A lot of people will actually replace it because it's kind of ugly. You know, they'll put a different a newly designed one on, but it's just such an iconic uh, back glass that's just so awful and great at the same time that we just had to get a new one. So we put a we put a brand new old stock one in that uh, looks perfect in person. But check this thing out. Just look at the design. This little guy is really uh, <laughs> unique. And then we've got her. It's hard to tell, but they touched up her uh, outfit a little bit. They added a little bit of a um, they added a little material to the picture because it was a little risque originally. And then you've got this guy. It looks like he's straight out of I don't know. And what's in his hand there? But anyway, one of the most ridiculous pinball translites ever. Gottlieb's Genesis. So anyway, that may mislead you into thinking that this isn't a good game. This is an awesome game. It's really fun to play. This came out in 1986 and uh, Gottlieb, a lot of people talk about how great all of the Bally and Williams games are and they certainly are great, but I like the Gottlieb's too. They really had a lot of, uh, I mean, it was just a little different, you know. I'll just show you the art. At the time when they were got lit by Premiere, they were all the artwork was kind of similar, so I think a lot of the cabinets had the same exact stencils on the side. So basically, in this game, you are this crazed scientist. This was based on a movie called Metropolis that came out in the 20s. <laughs> so John Trudeau designed this game and uh, wanted to make kind of a pinball version of it. So this is what he came up with. So basically as you play, what you're trying to do is build a robot. And it, the robot hides. He's called the life force. And he hides down in that little room underneath the play field. And so of course as you can see that's perfectly flat like it should be. And you can't get the ball down there or anything the robots down there and it's hard to see but it says parts completed you can't really see it because of the glare but I can see it from here maybe if it lights up we'll see it and see how there's a red light and a blue light and a green light and an orange light down there maybe if it lights up we'll see it a little better basically you're trying to complete the parts of the robot and then bring them to life Let's see if it lights up with all the flashers. So that round thing you saw covers them. So there's a motor underneath there. Whenever you basically beat the game, it, it uh, that motor uncovers the uh, plastic thing, and you can see the robot down underneath it in all its glory. So anyway, that's a really cool game. So basically, there's, there's a few ways you can uh, do this. On the very back here, it says 
arms and see how there's four of them in blue and then it says brain and there's five of them in orange and then it says body and there's four of them in red and then it says legs and there's four of them in green so depending on how you make the shots you light up one of those LEDs in the back and another thing about this game this originally of course had incandescent bulbs in it we typically don't put LEDs in games just because we we really like the retro thing we like how they originally looked and blah 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 but this game is so quirky we just couldn't resist so we bought LEDs and put it in and uh, it just gives it a really cool look Oop, I ran back on that So it's on a track mode, it's begging us to put a quarter in it, right? It's trying to earn its keep. So the way you do it is, you know, you start the game, and if you make this shot over here, see how it says brain letter? And then over here it also says brain letter, and that's the two right or the right and the left orbit basically. Or they're not really orbits, but the left and the right shot. Uh that alternates. So maybe this side's lit or this side's lit. If you shoot the one that's lit, you get your brain. Uh, light comes on back here so you get one of the five brain things so if you get all five of them it lights up brain down here and on and on so this left ramp is blue and that's the arms which is back there so every time you make the left ramp you light up one of those and this right ramp is green which is the legs every time you make that shot you light up this green in the back here where it says legs and then the body shot is up here at the top it says a, B, C, complete for body letter. So if you make all three of those rollovers, um, lanes at the top, it lights up A, B, and C. It lights up A, B, and C, um, which gives you a letter on the body. So as you can see, it's a very simple game. You're just trying to build a robot. And then when you finally get everything done, when you get all of the letters, you've got this shot right here. Let's see here. The life force generator. So to bring them to life, you have to make this shot. Now this shot hits one of Gottlieb's famous very targets. This is a holdover from their EMs. And see that little shot right there? You hit that, see the little slot all the way at the back? Depending on how hard you hit it, it gives you a, very, a variable score. That's why they called it a very target. And it was really creative whenever it was on the electromechanical games because it could do that with no computer or anything so you know you, you hit it to a certain spot and it makes two little contacts connect and so it knows to give you 10,000 points if you hit it farther it knows to give you 20,000 points and if you hit it a little farther back uh, you get to the place where it connects what gives you the, it connects what gives you 30,000 points and then if you hit it all the way back you get the 40,000 points but that's the shot you have to make to bring the robot to life at the end of the game so and then you've got these drop targets here if you get one, two, and three, I believe I believe it spots you a letter, like it gives you the uh, the next letter that you need in whatever is the most complete of the the uh, four body parts. So one other interesting thing about this game, um, since it's a Godlib, you can get a lot of parts for it from Pinball Resource, the Pinball Resource, uh, which is in Poughkeepsie, New York. And one thing that they had was they still had um, the plastics. So a lot of these plastics are brand new. And there, the slingshots. And then, you know, this guy up here and the ones up there. And then a gentleman on pinside.com started making ramps for the game. This game originally had kind of a pinkish purple set of ramps on it. They looked exactly like these ramps, but they weren't clear. So they were like pink and purple ish. <laughs> they were both the same color, but just a really weird color, um, which kind of helps people when they claim that this is an ugly game, you know. But uh, those ramps get all cracked up, all beat up. The fronts of them get all chipped up because, as you can see, the ball can hit, If it, depending on how it hits, it can hit the front of the ramp and actually chip it or break it, you know. It won't on this because these are ABS plastics. They're a lot harder than the original ones, so I don't think that they really need to any kind of protection to keep it from breaking. But uh, that gentleman was nice enough to start making these uh, these ramps for uh, for this game. And he made them in several different colors. He made them the original color, but these clear ones just look awesome because you can see all the artwork underneath it. 
And then also, a guy made a really good point. They kind of reflect the colors on the back as they go. You know, so the more blues you light up, the more blue the ramp gets, and the more oranges you light up, the more orange the ramps get. So anyway, it just they look really cool clear. So we went with the clear. Got brand new clear ramps on it, which really kind of made it a look a lot nicer. And then because the ramps were no longer pink and no longer purple, whenever we did the LEDs up here in the top in the pop bumpers, instead of making them the original uh, white, we went ahead and put the the purple LEDs in there to kind of give it a hint of that color back. It makes it look real cool. So anyway, we thought it came out pretty nice. Like I said, we usually don't do LEDs, but on uh, this particular game, we thought it was just screaming for it because it's such a futuristic... You know, I don't, I don't know what you would call that, but it's just such a, such a, it's, it's retro from the late eighties and it's also futuristic at the same time. So I, what I will do is I'll turn the lights off and show you a little bit of how it looks in the dark because this thing has an awesome light show. And then I'll set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit and see what you think. Right. Figured I'd film just a few seconds of what it looks like in the dark. Nice little reflection on the new acrylic piece from pinbits.com. They make those for this machine. Genesis. So, like I was saying, the LEDs on this one really they fit the theme and just look kind of cool. But I'll bet LED fans would say that about all games. Let's see if we can get it to do its next little attack mode. Game. Awesome. All right, I'm going to set up the tripod. All right, folks, I am back. I mentioned before, it's kind of hard to. Uh, to film a pinball machine because it's the wrong way. <laughs> Everybody runs into that problem. So this is kind of the way I do it. It kind of shows the play field. I don't know how much of the ball you're going to be able to see, but we'll play a game and uh, maybe you can keep track of it depending on how the light show goes. Um, I put a few credits on it. We'll start it up. Once again, common disclaimer, I am not a pinball wizard. I'm going to do all right, but I sure ain't going to do great. So we'll see a little bit of the game, but we won't see all of the game. Here we go. sound is awesome on this game. Right down the middle. <laughs> All right, and remember we were talking about how the brain light will bounce back and forth. See how right now it's the left uh, loop. If I make the left shot, that's the brain, I get a brain uh, light. It'll bounce over to the right shot as I hit the pop bumpers. You'll see it go back and forth. I made the green shot, I got a green letter. Oh! And you can see as the ball bounces around that it almost has, a, the LEDs almost give it a strobe effect since we're playing it in such a dark room where you lose it for a second. the blue shot. Oh, man. 
it's got this uh, on this particular game you enter initials uh, with these little arrow buttons on the front door it was still early on and all of that we'll play it again Music's awesome. Here we go. Oh, man. to mention their kickback targets. See these targets here? You'll notice you'll notice as the uh, Oh. This target here and this target here as the ball hits it, those are uh, Gottlieb's famous uh, kicking targets. As you, you hit it, it kicks the ball back out at you just as fast as you hit it. Really cool design. There's the very target we were talking about. And again. Oh. So I believe what was happening there is as you hit the very target, it spots you a letter if you knock it all the way back. So we're going to play it one more game. game. Oh man, it keeps going right down the middle. I might have to check the level. three drop targets so it spotted me a, a oh it spotted me a B
kicking targets were throwing it all over the place. Saved it. Oh, I don't have the glass on for the camera, so it, it would have hit the glass there, but... those drop targets so it spotted me a letter or two. saying just one more game why not Gottlieb's Genesis. By the time you see this video, we may have already sold this game. Um, if we have, maybe we'll have something else that you're interested in, or maybe we'll have another one of these. You can see all the games we have at lionsarcade.com, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube because we're going to be putting up all kinds of videos of cool games that we get like this. We'll just show you, you know, the overview of the cabinet and how they look, and uh, you know, this game here is nearly 30 years old now, and still playing good and still really fun and still looks good in my opinion i know a lot of people can don't like that translate but i love it so uh check out our website or, or check out our uh, subscribe to our uh, channel here and we'll have all kinds of videos like this usually one or two a week um, or stop by and see us if you're ever in the area we're in downtown rock hill south carolina which is 15 minutes south of charlotte north carolina and uh, you can check out our selection or just stop by and 
tell us you saw us on YouTube. We will see you next video.